When you think of Sault Ste. Marie and the St. Mary's River, the locks and the massive freighters that pass through them may be the first thing that comes to mind. But that's actually the second biggest user of the water in that area. We learn more about the first and a vital structure that keeps the economy there moving. It's tonight's sightseeing in northern Michigan. Uh, one time the St. Mary's River, uh, the rapids here was unrestricted and there, there was a very large rapids and, and series of waterfalls. Here. The strength and power of that water was obvious. So a century ago, the people living along the river, both in Michigan and Canada, came up with a plan. The International Joint Commission uh, decided there was a need to regulate the outflow of Lake Superior in 1914. And then the, uh, they, they started construction and then the compensating works were completed in 1921. The compensating works is basically a dam controlling the flow of water from Lake Superior into the St. Mary's River. They're a joint uh, United States-Canadian structure with the eight southern gates uh, belonging to the United States and the eight uh, northern gates belonging to Canada. Decides how the gates should be moved depending on the water levels. They're not changed more than once a month because it is a big job. There are 16 gates. Uh, two of them have been uh, electrically powered, but the other 14 have to be cranked by hand. So we have to send a fairly large crew up here, and uh, guys have cranks, and they on each end of the gate uh, they have to crank at the same time at the same rate. Otherwise, the gates get crooked. So it's a uh, pretty labor-intensive process. But it's also an important process because so many people depend on this water. The largest uh, user of water on the St. Mary's River is the hydropower industry. Uh, navigation is the, is the second highest user of water and that's then followed by the municipalities for, for uh, drinking water, uh, process water for various industries. There are four hydropower plants here, three in the U.S. and one in Canada. Here, hydropower is a, is a excellent way, a very efficient way to generate electricity. The U.S. government plants here uh, generate about 15 percent of the electricity for the Eastern Arab Peninsula. And then the uh, Clover Electric also has a plant here in Sioux, Michigan. That, that generates uh, a significant amount of power as well. Because of safety and security, this area is off limits to most people, but it's imperative to those who use this water for work or for play. Well, the compensating work is critical to keeping the water levels somewhat constant right here locally. I mean, it, it's, it's important for making electricity for the hydropower plants and for uh, keeping a, a decent amount of draft available to the shipping industry. For sightseeing in northern Michigan, I'm Michelle Dunaway.